Folks at home, welcome to Tank Tuesday, and we have a rare sighting of our pet catfish, Whiskers. He's out and about today, but in case you missed the last video, we were on a mission to catch a pet turtle for our new turtle tank. It was a failed mission, but hopefully by the end of this video, we'll have a little baby turtle swimming around in this tank. So before we get out on the water to try to catch one, we got our new turtle tank stand in. So I'm gonna drain the tank down and get everything set up before the turtle gets here. All right, got the stand installed. Turtle tank is now set up. All we are missing is a turtle. Everything looking good in there. Light set up good. Time to go on a turtle chase. So before I get the boat set up, I'm gonna address an issue we had in our last video. So I had dozens of comments of people saying that I should not use this net and go catch one in the wild, but rather buy a pet turtle from a breeder. And just growing up as a kid, I used to catch these all the time, and I felt like at times we were overpopulated with them. But I pride myself on listening to you subscribers, so I'll make a deal with you. I'm going to go one more time and try to catch a turtle, because I know where some are at. But if I don't get it this time, I'll buy one online, and my inner kid would be kicking me for even thinking about the idea of buying a pet turtle, because I used to catch so many. But a deal's a deal. Folks, mission to catch a baby pet turtle part two starts now. I'm way back up in a creek. We got high flooded waters from Tropical Storm Alberto, but we're about to cover some water. I've got some spotted turtles that I spotted on my last trip about two miles from here. So we're about to cover a lot of creek water. See if we can spot us a baby. Folks, I'm pulling back in here to the same spot where the smartest turtle is. He usually drops about 20 feet away from me. And yep, he's still there on that same tree. This is the same turtle that I saw twice last time, but he's a smart one. I'm about to try to sneak in here on him. All right, that one was sitting right there on that limb, and he dropped off about 10 feet away from me. So we're starting to get a little bit closer to him. All right, I've just spotted two baby turtles sitting on the same log, and one of them jumped off before I could get my camera out, but the other one is still sitting there, and he is a perfect size. My goodness, he's just slid off the log. All right, the sun is going down, and these little guys have eluded me once again. But a deal is a deal. I'm about to go put the boat on the trailer, head back home, and find a way to buy a turtle online. Now, several of my subscribers told me about this website called The Turtle Source, and I got on, and they do have the Northern Black Knob Map Turtle. And it says, the Northern Black Knob Map are found only in the upper portions of the Alabama and Tom Bigby River systems. These are the exact same turtles I used to catch as a kid. Expensive little jokers. But I contacted them this morning, and they said they do have some, and she sent me a picture of four of the little turtles. And I told her that I wanted to get this smallest one that's got this really unique pattern on it. And so I just purchased it, and it will be overnighted, and it should be here first thing in the morning. I think we just got a delivery. Our baby turtle's here. The baby turtle's here. Let's look at what type of a package a live animal gets sent out in. They got it taped up pretty good, but let's go ahead and get him out of there. I'm sure he is ready to get out of that little box. All right, Liz, let's see what's inside of the box. Mm -hmm. Getting some nice tire foam. Ooh, there he oh, is. there he is, yep, little bitty guy. Got some food in there with him. He looks like he's got his head tucked in the shell a little bit. Let's go ahead and bring him out. What does it say there? Northern Black, Northern Black Map. Black Map. Hatchling. Hatchling. It's amazing that you can ship live animals. 
He's a lively little guy. And there he is, perfect little baby turtle. So while we got him out of the tank, we're gonna go ahead and try to get a just an estimated measure. Let's get right there from the top of his shell to the bottom. So I would say he is an inch and a half. All right, let's see how he likes the new tank. So we'll put him right there on the log. And I bet you he's gonna hide. Man, look at the colors on him. That's a pretty little guy. <laughs> if I had to guess, he's gonna hide up under that thing for a little while because it's nice and dark there. So I just cut the light off. I want him to feel as comfortable as possible. And we're just gonna step back for a minute and let him explore his new home. So these are the contents of the box. I like this the most, protected by a killer turtle. He's definitely no killer. They also sent us some food, a little starter kit. So you guys check out the turtle source. I would definitely recommend them. They did a good job of getting our pet turtle to us. All right, I just dropped a couple pieces of food in there for him to see if he wanted to come up and get them. And he's definitely interested. He got him out of his little hole there. He's checking, checking me and Moby out. Oh, look at there, it's been a lizard. Lizard, you better not hang around Moby's tank. Looks like he's got an albino tail. All right, so I was keeping a close eye on the turtle because some of you guys said that he may try to eat a rock. And it, there was a couple of pieces of rock down there that looked just like his food. It's that brown colored rock down there, those small little pieces. And I think I saw him try to eat one. I'm not 100% sure, but I think I did. So rather than even risk it, I'm gonna go ahead and remove all these black rocks that we have in here and go in with nothing but the stones. That was a task. I got about 10,000 of those little black rocks out of there, but now it's clean. We're gonna go in with some big chunk rocks. All right, I completely redid the tank. It is now a rock tank and rocks that are big enough to where he cannot eat them. So I appreciate the subscribers out there that told me to look out for that and him try and eat it because I'm pretty sure he tried to eat it. But what I did is try to put enough rocks in here and then build up his basking area over here, but also not leave any major cracks that he could fall down in. So I think I got all my cracks covered. Everything's looking good. We're about to add some water and get the turtle back in the tank. All right, we got the water and the floating plants added back. Now it's turtle time. All right, buddy. <laughs> He's checking everything out now. He said, I kind of like it on this log. Nope, about to bolt. Goes for a little swim. In the shade. <laughs> He's trying to eat that rock. This little guy is a rock eater. That's exactly what he did to the last one. I don't think he ate the rock, the last one, but he bit at it. So I'm going to drop him some more food in here. Looks like he's hungry. So just like always, we're gonna let you all name the turtle. So leave a comment down below on what you think we should name this little guy. And if we end up picking the name that you suggest, we're gonna send you out a prize package. <laughs> he just bolted through the little Miramo moss ball. Now he's playing with it. <laughs> this little guy's got a personality. found his last piece of food. All right, he seems to be doing just fine, so I'm gonna put his basking lamp on and see if he wants to get out in some sunshine. This is new favorite spot. All right, first night is in the books. Our new turtle basked for about five straight hours, and now he's back in the water. He's hiding from me. He cares more about voices than he does people. We walked by the tank several times and he hadn't minded, but whenever you start talking, he goes to hiding. But now we gotta go take care of our other pets, Moby, Bonnie and Clyde. But leave that comment down below on what we should name the new pet turtle. Hope y'all enjoyed the video and we'll see you all next week.
Thank you.